can we go thrift shopping? What, what, what? What? Everybody, what? it's Shayna, what? also what? known as what? Thrifty Nurse. What? What? I am here today to do a mystery box unboxing from Shop Goodwill. I also have a five pound jewelry box. I've been getting these pretty much every week since like November, I think. Um, I usually make more than I've paid for the box off of them when I list them. <laughs> I'm like really behind on listing my jewelry. But so far I have not had any boxes that I've like been in the negative on at least. So most of them I've had just one or two items just selling those. I've made like more than the cost of the box. So the jewelry boxes are, I think they're $35 plus $5 shipping now. And then I also like to get the watch boxes. Those are $50 for eight pounds of watches plus $5 shipping. But I didn't get one of those this week because I just have too many watches right now that I need to go through. Usually you have to put a new battery in them or clean them up a little bit or something to get them working. And it can take a bit of time, so I need to get caught up on the ones I have before I get another one of those. Um, so yeah, I'm going to open these boxes and show you guys what's in them. And don't forget to like and subscribe and comment and do all those things. Um, I've been trying to get more active on Instagram. If you want to follow me on there, my Instagram is thriftynursexo. I've been posting a lot on there. Um, my Mercari is also under Thrifty Nurse, and eBay is thriftynursexo if you want to check out my shops, buy anything I have for sale. Um, if you PM me and say you have, you watch my YouTube channel, I'll give you a discount. So. I think that's about it, and we're gonna get started on these boxes. Thank you for watching. Oh. All right, so here is the blue box. First impressions, a little bit concerned. I don't see anything that I'm like super excited about. That looks kind of cool, I guess, but it doesn't look super valuable the last but blue uh i can't talk the last blue box i got i really got kind of spoiled because the very first thing i pulled out was a like 10 carat or 14 carat gold bracelet so i don't know we'll have to get through the box and see so let me set the camera up get you guys situated and see how i'm gonna do this out here I'm on my back porch because it's just so nice out today and I really didn't feel like being inside. Alright, so we've got these earrings. They look vintage. They're still new in the package. Just says fashion jewelry by Alpine, $4. So probably not worth a whole lot. Those might go in a lot or just a craft lot or bulk lot. Then we've got this necklace I saw. So this is cute for like a teacher. I don't know if people wear stuff like this still. It looks kind of 90s, but I would wear it if I was a teacher, but I like weird tacky stuff, so. It's kind of cute, right? If you're a teacher. So yeah, I don't know, that might do okay. I think I have some teacher pins, like brooches that maybe I can put with it. That I got in a different box. We've got this wooden necklace. Probably lock that up with some other wood like theme jewelry. Hopefully I can get into this box without getting too tangled. That's the only thing I don't like about making these mystery box videos. I've actually recorded a bunch of them but I haven't posted any yet. But every time I record, I have to stop like 500 times to untangle. So then there's this gemstone bracelet, rhinestone bracelet, which is really cute, but it is missing one stone. So that'll probably go in a craft lot. Let's see what else. Usually, I just pick out my earrings and set them to the side until the end. So there's another bracelet. It's like a stretch bracelet. It's got rhinestones and some kind of, 
I don't know what that is, y'all. I'm not great with jewelry. Like I said, I'm really not a jewelry person, but I really like learning about it. If anybody knows what that would be. But yeah, that's kind of cute. Um, it looks like it's messed up right here. Like it's almost missing something right there. I don't know. I don't know. I'll have to look at that some more later. Alright, let's see if we can get this thing out. So this is kind of nice. It's like a natural stone. It'll stop moving and focus. Oh, that's really pretty. Like a geode. It's really pretty. It won't focus. Come on, camera. Well, y'all get the idea. It's kind of like an amethyst, and it's got like these amethyst color purple beads. I really like that. I would wear that if I wore this. Is kind of interesting. It's got like a fabric chain. I guess you would call it a chain. And then it's got this little pendant. I want the camera focus. So yeah, that's kind of cute, I guess. I mean, it's cheap, but not terrible. Alright, this looks cool. What is this? So this is a necklace. I don't see any markings on it, but it's just got like a silver tone chain. And then it's got this thing. Anybody know what that is? It looks kind of cool. It looks older. It's got like a crown, maybe, and like a shield, like a coat of arms almost. I guess that would be enamel. Yeah, I don't know, that's pretty interesting. Maybe I'll get a picture of it and look it up with a Google Lens. I do that with a lot of jewelry and I've been able to find things pretty good that way. The other day I thought I had some junky jewelry and when I Google Lensed it, I found out it was, uh, like a hundred dollar piece so there's a bracelet it's just silver tone and it's got these gemstones like a bangle bracelet so usually bangle bracelets I'll put them in lots either just a whole lot of bangle bracelets or like with other different jewelry and I've had good luck getting rid of them that way there's another like cuff bracelet it's white and it's got some gold designs like swirly white enamel and it opens nothing nothing bad but nothing crazy that's a cute little bangle it's got a flower with a diamond or gemstone in the middle that's kind of cute then we've got a silver tone necklace with that. I don't see any markings on it. And stretch bracelet. Hmm. That's interesting. It's like three. Oh, it's missing some stones. So it'll probably go on a cra craft lot. But it's like three bracelets. See that stone right there is missing. And then it's got the bow. Well, that's a shame. I hate when stones are missing. Let's see what can I get untangled. Alright, we've got this green beaded bracelet or necklace. I have a whole bunch of these. I'll probably just lot them up eventually. Different colors. It's from Kay 
AJL and it's red like natural stone looking beads it's like a dark red and it almost has like some black dots like strawberry looking it's really pretty actually I don't know if it's focused on it there but yeah and then it says KJL so I'll have to look that up that's pretty that's that's a nice piece oh this is cute Let's see if it's got a marking it does it says something I think it says Avon but I'm not a hundred percent Pretty sure it says Avon. I'll have to get my um, thingy, magnifier, thingy majiggy. This is Leather Treaty. It says Believe, and it's just a leather snap bracelet. It's kind of braided on the sides. This is just a silver chain necklace. I don't see any markings on it. It's got kind of like a hammered, I think those are actually little stones on the front. If you can see it's kind of sparkly. It's kind of cute. Right, then we've got this, it's got a tag on it, Revlon. Revitch. I need my uh, eye thingy. It looks almost like Revlon or Revion. I don't know, Ravion? Maybe. I don't think it's real gold. Maybe gold plated. But it's like a herringbone type necklace that is what those are called right herringbone pretty sure that's kind of nice it almost looks like it's gold plated and we just got a little gold bangle twist on oh well, i don't know what that is is it for a watch or is it just a bracelet i don't know but it's new in the box We've got an ear cuff with a chain that'll focus on that. It's got a little butterfly design on it. We've got another bracelet. This one is Jewel Cade. It's marked. It says Jewel Cade on the inside. And it's got that design. So that's interesting. I'll have to look that up. I haven't came across that brand before. Then we've got fashion jewelry. It just says love. It's just a cheap, like Chinese made necklace. Some earring. We've got this necklace. It's kind of like a satin string and it's got these clear gems and like pink gems. I don't see any markings. The satin's a little bit dirty. It's a multi-strand brown beaded like natural stone chips and then it's got this art glass piece at the bottom like a pendant. That's kind of cool. It's a little dirty. Needs cleaned up. But yeah, it looks in pretty decent shape. So this is a brooch. Brooch, brooch. And I don't see any markings. But it's got pearls and diamond looking stones. And then it's got this gold piece connected on a chain with initials PC. That's really cool. I like that piece. Might be kind of hard to sell because it's got initials, you know, I'd have to find somebody that wants it that also has the initials PC, but 
Patsy Klein. That's a PC. Maybe it was hers. That would be cool, right? So that's just a little silver dainty chain and it's got some blinged out crosses. Three crosses and then on the other side it says faith, hope, love. That's pretty. Somebody will like that. I wonder where Goodwill gets this much jewelry. Did y'all ever think about that? Because they sell these blue boxes every single week, every Friday at 6 on Goodwill Blue Box. I don't know how many of them they sell, but I know they put a two limit per person on. There's the seashell bracelet. So I know they put a, or necklace, not bracelet. They put a two per person limit on these boxes. And then they've also got the ones you can get that comes with a box plus a clothes box. And I think those are a two per person limit too. But I assume they're probably selling quite a bit of them. So they've got those every week. And then they also have on Shop Goodwill, if you go on there any day of the week, there's tons of boxes. And sometimes they're like 50 pound boxes, like huge. I actually just got one yesterday, like 50 pound box. And then I got another one that's, I think 30 pounds and then like a 40 pound box. So, um, they have a lot of jewelry. Like, do people really donate that much jewelry? all the time consistently it just seems like a lot so this is a gold herringbone bracelet i don't believe it's real gold it says korea on the tag but it's pretty oh it's got some fake diamonds i didn't even notice that so that's cute that'll probably go with I'll lock that up with some other stuff. Oh, this is cute. This is kind of like nursey. So it's a little silver chain. And then it's got the heart. Let's see if I can get it to show up. With the heartbeat design. Can y'all see that? It's like being all weird. I like that a lot. If I wore a lot of jewelry, I would wear that as a nurse. I don't see any marks on it. Oh wait, yes it is. Stainless steel. Not silver, but not too bad. At least it's not like super junk. So yeah, that's nice. I bet that'll probably do good. Then we've got another seashell bracelet. So I have a lot of these. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. I, I'll either lock them up with some other things or I'll put them in a craft lot. I haven't decided yet. There's another one. Kind of beachy, summery, hippie vibes. Maybe I can lot it up with some jewelry that fits that theme. And If not, I'll just put it in a craft lot. So a craft lot, if you don't know, is basically a box of junk jewelry or broken jewelry, missing stuff, single earrings, missing stones, you know, stuff you just can't wear anymore or that's too cheap, like nobody would buy. And um, people buy it to repurpose it and make new jewelry or make crafts out of it. I actually really want to do some crafts myself. I love doing crafty stuff. I just haven't had the time recently. But I really love making things and I've always wanted to make one of those like Christmas tree jewelry. You get like a canvas and make a Christmas tree out of jewelry pieces and, or whatever. So that's a really cool necklace there. I really like that. It's like a statement piece. It looks kind of like J. Crew. There's a lot of J. Crew that looks like this style, but I don't see a tag on it, so I don't know that it is J. Crew. I'll probably use Google Lens to check. I don't think it is, but it's not missing any stones, so that's great. That will definitely sell. Probably by itself. And then there is, this has got a tag on it. Let's see what it says. 
Cookie Lee. I've gotten some of their pieces before. So it's got these shiny black beads, and some clear and white beads, some black and white beads, and then these heart charms at the bottom. And it's pretty long, so that's a pretty cool piece. Earrings that was stuck together that are kind of interesting. One of them is missing the little hook piece, but I have plenty of those that I've saved from other boxes, so I can easily fix that. I don't know if those would sell. They are interesting. Kind of like a crafty looking piece. All right, and then we've got, oh, dropped an earring. We've got these faux pearls. I'm pretty sure they're faux. They're really dirty. They are single knots, but they just feel real cheap. Yeah, and they're really smooth. So those are faux pearls. So I'll probably put those in a craft lot. Oh, this looks cool. What is this thing? Hmm, this is interesting. It's a silver chain and it's got these like moose antlers. But then it's got this circle in the middle. I don't get it. I don't know if it's supposed to do something. It looks like it should do something, but it doesn't. Maybe it's missing a piece. I don't know. I'll probably use Google Lens to try to figure out what that is. It's got this big heart with like swirly multi-tone metals and hearts on the silver here, little green beads. That's kind of cute. That's cool. Then we got a stretch bracelet, just a purple beaded stretch bracelet. Oh, that's pretty. That's like some turquoise stones with little tiny pearls. I don't know if it's real turquoise. And it's a stretch bracelet. And then we've got a bangle, like a plastic bangle. It's got green and brown and gold flecks. Pretty sure this wouldn't be Bakelite because it's not one co color. It does have a weird smell. I don't know what formaldehyde's supposed to smell like, y'all. What does formaldehyde smell like? Like, how do you know? No, I think that just smells like old jewelry. I have gotten two Bakelite bracelets in these boxes before, though, that I confirmed with um, the Symethicone stuff. So this was a little baggy, and inside the baggy was this teeny tiny flower charm that looks like it's broke, and then two earrings. They're both stud earrings and they're kind of reflective rainbow with like scratchy looking designs on the inside. There's both of them. Those are cute. kind of like those. I would probably wear those. I just started wearing earrings again. I had my ears gauged for a long time. I think the highest I had them or the biggest I had them was maybe like a half an inch or five eighths of an inch or something. So I used to have the big uh, plugs in them, but I got sick of them. Honestly, they just smell gross. That was like the worst part. So I ended up taking them out and surprisingly they closed back up. I didn't think they would because I've had them for a long time. And I heard after you get past like a double zero, they won't close. 
but they're pretty much closed now. I mean, if I wear something real heavy and it pulls on it, you can see the hole is a little bit bigger, but not bad. That's a necklace and it's got floral kind of design and some gemstones. It's like greens and orange. That's pretty. Come here, kitty kitty. Come here, kitty. Kitty, you want to be on YouTube? This is my kitty. He's like, let me go. His name's Ollie. Say hi, Ollie. Good kitty. Oh, you're so pretty. Yes, you're a good kitty kitty. All right, go kill something. Too much hair. He's real fun trying to keep hair off things. He's so pretty though. I love my cats. I have three cats and two dogs. Got a beagle and an Australian shepherd. And then that kitty and a tabby cat and a Siamese mix cat. So that was a gemstone stretch bracelet. And then there's another one of these bracelets. Kitty kitty, go inside. So my Siamese cat I actually rescued on the side of the highway. And she was a baby. She was like three months old and somebody had abandoned her on the highway. She doesn't come outside though. Thanks, one. Okay, my child came out here interrupting me. I have a 19 year old almost and a 12 year old almost. Let me tell y'all, I miss having little kids. Big kids are not fun. Teenage years, ugh. They're good kids though. All right, well this is kind of tangly, but I don't feel like messing with it. But it's got this two stones and one of them has this like leaf design. They feel like real stones. Like I'm pretty sure those are real stones. It's kind of cool. They're both green and they're on like a black cord. I can't tell if it's two separate ones or one piece. It's all tangled and I'll work it out later. This is a stretch bracelet. Then we've got another one of these bracelets and just one of those, we used to call those anal ball beads. Sorry, <laughs> but we did. You know, everybody wore the big huge ones in the 90s, like the necklaces. Those were so ugly. So there's a belly ring. Kind of gross. It's missing the top ball. It's got a lightning bolt. I used to have a belly ring. Took it out. I don't know if used belly rings would sell. Doesn't sound like it to me. All right, so this is a ring and it's got a little cross dangling on it. Then we've got another ring. That's kind of pretty. It's got a big black stone and it's surrounded by little diamond looking stones. And then it's like stretchy on the back a little bit. Oh, it's got little diamonds on the side too. It's all kind of blings. That's cute. We've got this pendant. It's got a rose on it. Oh, dropped it. That's an earring. Put that to the side. We've got this bracelet. Clear and black beads. It's another stretch ring. This one's got a red stone. Stretchy. It's got some black lines in the stone. That's kind of cool. Oh, my nails are terrible. I should have done something with my nails before I did this video, huh? 
that. That's really cool. It looks like one of those spoon rings, which I got one of those the other day in a box. And I have one that used to be my mom's too. I like that. I don't think it's a real spoon ring. I think it's like one that was just made to look like it's a spoon ring, if that makes sense. And then it's got that white stone, but that's pretty cool. I like that. So this is just a random rock. Oh, it's got holes through it. So it could go on a, oh, I dropped that too. It could go on a necklace. This is, it looks like it might say Avon. It's definitely marked with something. I should have brought my loop out here. That's what it's called, a loop. It says something for sure, but it's a ring. It's got a pearl. Yeah, I'll have to look that up with my loop when I get done. Then we've got, I guess this is a bracelet. It's by Plunder Design. I think I have another piece of theirs. Made with love. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I have some other stuff of theirs, but I guess it's a bracelet. And it's got the big silver beads. I won't call them what I did before again. Um, and then it's got these little charms, like a ball with flowers. There's a heart. I don't know if y'all can see that. A couple hearts. Yeah, I have, I think I have a necklace of theirs and I looked it up and it looked pretty decent. Oh, that's a big piece. What is this? Does it have any markings? I don't see any markings on this. Oh, and I think it's missing a stone, damn it. So it's got this big piece pendant with the dangly stones but you can see the one on this side is missing one so if it's not in the box what I could do is I could remove this one or at least cut it right here so it's just the single stone at the top and then it might look decent maybe or I could just stick it in a craft lot but it is a really cool necklace so I might try to save it <laughs> And then there's another rock stone with holes in it. Something must have broke in there. So try to figure out what that was. There's actually another one. So yeah, something broke in there. Um, this thing, I don't know what this is. Is it a tie clip maybe? I don't know, do y'all know what that is? It kind of looks like a bobby pin, but it's not. And this side opens. Oh, that side opens too. Yeah, not sure what that is, but it's gold tone. Then we've got... A pretty little, oh it's got a tag, super tiny, oh my god, I need glasses, Coro maybe, or Avon, I think it's Avon, pretty sure it's Avon, multi-strand, kind of like seashell, mother of pearl, that's pretty, I like that. Alright, they were nice enough to put these in a bag, because I've gotten these before loose and the feathers were destroyed, but those are just little feather earrings, feather dangle earrings, and then we've got 
some kind of ball, crystal ball, it's kind of orangey, dangle earrings in a bag. Oh, I'm dropping things. This bracelet. It's a stretch bracelet. This box has been one of the least tangly boxes I've ever gotten. I will say that. Usually I have to spend a good hour untangling and I have to pause like four times to take a tangling break. So this piece, as I'm just talking about things not being tangled, this piece is pretty tangled up, but it's all one piece, so it just needs, it's like a multi-strand and the strands are all caught up with each other, so I'll get that untangled later but it's got like pearls and gold beads and clear beads and then it's got a gold chain and it looks like it's a layered book necklace a couple more pieces left this is Leah Sophia I've got some other pieces of hers it's got rainbow colored glass beads that's pretty that kind of looks like the piece i was talking about earlier that i thought was just junk jewelry and then i found out i think it was called glassworks and it's like a hundred dollar necklace it kind of looks similar to that i'm debating on if i'm gonna keep it even though i don't really wear much jewelry it's just so freaking awesome looking but i know i probably won't really wear it so maybe I'll just wear it a couple times and then I'll get rid of it. This is kind of cool. It's got feathers. It's gold tone. It's got like orange and turquoise. It's kind of like the squash blossom shape right there. Like the crescent shape. I like that. That's really cool. I mean, it does feel pretty cheap though. It doesn't feel like real high quality or anything. Then we've got this necklace with some red gemstone beads. Not drop the whole box. So that one, that big one there, it's got some black specks in it. And then there's the clear with the specks. That's pretty. I think that'll do good. I've sold a similar one before in the past. A little tangle there. Alright, so this one, no marking. It's got black and silver beads. It's still a little tangled up, but y'all get the idea. This one... Is that a rubber closure? I'm confused. So this one, I'm not sure what's going on with the closure. Oh, maybe this is one of those things you hook your glasses to. See, it's got those rubber pieces. I'm pretty sure that's what that is. And then it's got the pearl chain. I think that's one of those glasses holder necklaces. So this is a for some reason they decided to put two chains on each side i guess so they could get super tangled all the time because that's what you want in a necklace right but it is pretty it's got flower charms blue no tags or markings and then we've got this piece is really long super long. I guess you would double it up like so. 
and it's got clear beads with silver. No markings. Oh, I think it's actually missing a bead. So it'll probably go in a crop lot. This is on a cord. And it's got a cross with a cutout of Jesus. Crucifix. Like, Jesus, I guess. I don't know. I'm not a religious person. I do like selling religious items because people like to buy them. And I definitely have a lot of respect for religion, but it's just not my thing personally. So I don't know a whole lot about it. When I did the Camino though, I did go to Catholic Church there every day and it was really interesting. I learned a lot there. So that's another stretch bracelet, like multi-strand. And then this is probably the grossest thing I've ever found in a jewelry box so far. It's a Q-tip. I don't think it's used at least. Ugh. I've heard of people finding teeth in these, like human teeth. I think I would die. I don't know. I mean, I guess not. I'm a nurse. I'd probably handle it. All right. So this is Trifari, which is a good brand. And it's Crown Trifari, which is even better, I think. Yay. So it's a necklace. I don't think it's all that cool, but I'm sure somebody else will. Okay. So the bangle has a charm on it that says New York and then it says Cara, Cara, C-A-R-A, there's the New York, so I don't know what that's about, but it's a gold tone basic little bangle and then this necklace that's wrapped around it has purple and red and pearl beads on a black chain. It looks like it'll be pretty long. I'll get that untangled later. And then we've got this necklace. It has... I'll try not to lose the charms. It has kind of like a black tone necklace chain. And then it's got that charm with the white veiny looking flower and then it's got a black flower on silver oh, that other one keeps wanting to go in front of it but it's got two black flower charms basically all right then we've got this little necklace i think it says claire's and it's super dirty and it's just a silver necklace with that bar. I don't think there's anything on the bar. But it's all dirty and tarnished. Then we've got this silver ring. It's just a plain band. I don't believe it's real silver. No markings. We've got some earrings. Oh my god, this thing's cute. Look at that little guy. It's like a little fish or something. Focus camera. Focus. It's like a little crab or a little fish made out of clay. I think maybe it was an earring and the back came off. But we've got a turquoise ring with silver. It is adjustable, so definitely not real, but it's cute. Earrings, earrings, earrings. There's the hook for that other earring I found earlier. All right, we've got this necklace. It looks pretty cheap. It's got like the brown wood look beads with pink and purple. And the charm is this purple butterfly. 
Okay. Oh, there's whatever it broke. Then we've got, oh, that's really cool looking. Is it focused? It looks really cool. It's like Mary, Mother Mary, and it's blue. It looks kind of like jello, like blue enamel, and it's shimmery. It's really cool. And then it's got this on the back. I forget what that symbol is. I know I've looked it up before and it's a Catholic thing. This is like a charm slider. It looks like it's marked. I'll have to look with my uh, loop. It's definitely marked with something. can't make that out without my loop but it's supposed to hold I think charms in between these beads so that's kind of cool I'll have to try to make out what it says we've got this ring I'm sure that's not real I do have a diamond tester but it looks like an emerald or it's supposed to look like an emerald with diamonds And then a silver band. Uh, sorry for the focusing, y'all. See if it's marked anything. It does look decent quality. I just, I don't think it's real, of course. But it looks like nice quality. And then we've got this little bow. I think that's a toe ring kind of cute. I might wear that. I used to wear toe rings all the time. A little angel pin. And oh that's really pretty. What does that say? Ooh, I think this might say 10 carat. It's definitely 10. I'm pretty sure that says 10 carat, and then it says something else. Yeah, I'll have to get my loop on this one for sure. I think it might be plated though, because there is some areas of wear where it doesn't look like solid gold to me. I don't know if you can see that, but it's got a really pretty design. Oh, come on, focus. I'm gonna get better at this, y'all. So it's got like... Ah, there we go. Kind of pink and blue and green stones, like pastel themed, and a little leaf. Two little leaves. Kind of looks like a birthstone ring. Alright, and then more earrings. There's a little purse charm. No markings. Just a little silver purse charm. Oh, I really hate this focusing issue going on here. There's another charm. This one says, I love you. It's just a silver circle and it says, I love you. Okay. Then we've got this bracelet. It's like a stretch bracelet. Kind of got a weird color scheme going on. It's got like pink and clear, but then it's got blue and red and the little Buddha guy. I don't know. Weird color choices. I got a safety pin looking thing with pearls on it. I guess it's a pin that you would wear on your shirt. And this little charm. I don't know what it's supposed to be exactly. It's not marked. 
but it's like a little lady in a circle and she's got her arms on each side and then there's a pearl at the bottom. I don't know. It's kind of weird. Okay, and then we've got a broken... Yeah, that's broken. Broken necklace. Premier Designs, $39 opening night tag. I don't know if that goes to something that I had in the box or if it was just in there. Another ring. This one's got a marking on the inside too. I can't make it out. I'll have to look it up when I get done. I doubt that's a real diamond. That would be nice. Probably not even real gold. But it's pretty. And this has got markings on it too, but I can't make them out. But it might be real silver. It's like a cross pendant. I will have to look that up. And then that's another Pandora style charm. It's got little blue crystals in it. I found one match so far. These are gold tone hoops. And they're kind of like wavy designed and oval shaped. But yeah, one time I got a box that had Tiffany earrings in it. Tiffany bows, or at least the back. So the backs were marked Tiffany, but the actual earring wasn't marked. And somebody online told me that that meant the earring wasn't Tiffany. But I don't know why the backs would be Tiffany and the earring wouldn't be. And they were bows. I mean, they look Tiffany-ish. That's actually a brooch that got thrown in there. It's just a gold tone circle brooch. But yeah, so I think the earrings are Tiffany too, but I'm going to try to find out for sure before I list them. And I have to wait. Oh, wow. Oh no, that's not what that is. I thought I had found a pot leaf earring, but I don't think that's a pot leaf. What is that, you guys? Do you see it? Is it some other kind of leaf? It has an O and then that leaf, like a red O and then that green leaf and like a pine cone or a berry or something. Can you see it? You know what, this focusing thing is really getting on my nerves. Yeah, I think that's a pendant though. So I'm gonna set that up there. Another match, so these are dangly silver earrings with like black, gray stones. Kinda cute. Here's another match. So these are silver, like kind of braided looking hoops. Um, Y'all get the idea there. Some boxes you do get a lot of mismatched earrings. Like there was one box I had where it was almost nothing but earrings and they were almost all single earrings and I was kind of pissed about that one. That's one of the only bad boxes I've ever got though. So this is a match. I'm trying to look and see if I see any markings because they almost look like they could be real gold. But I don't know that they are. But basically they're dangle earrings and they've got little green What is that? Jade, maybe? 
And then they've got tiny diamonds and gold balls at the top. And those are pretty. I like those. They kind of look vintagey. But yeah, there's actually a Facebook group you can join called Single Looking for My Match, I think. And you can post pictures of your blue box earrings and shop Goodwill earrings and people will try to match with you. And I've actually, one box I got, there was another girl on there that had a ton of my matches, but we couldn't come to an agreement, I guess, about which ones to send to who. So I don't know, all of a sudden she just ended up not replying anymore. I think she was kind of expecting me to send her all of mine. And like, I wanted some of them, you know, I didn't mind trading, but I didn't want to just send them all because I was hoping to get some of those matches too, of course, but I don't know. Or maybe she just got busy. I mean, it could have been not intentional, but I'm pretty busy too. I definitely understand that. So I think. We're getting to the end of the sorting process and not a whole lot more matches. So I did find these and they are marked 925 and I'm pretty sure it's the Silpata, that's how you say it, mark, but I'll have to get my loop to be sure. But they are little danglies and they've got like a red get it to focus like a red stone it's kind of diamond shaped so yeah they're really pretty and they're like that style of hoop I like those a lot and I like that they're 925 that's always a plus okay and then I've got a whole bunch of these hoop style earrings that just don't have matches like a whole bunch of them that I'm just gonna throw in the box because I don't have the match and then there's also this one that was on a card I don't think I've came across the match for it though it said it retailed for $14 but yeah, I'm not seeing the match here, so that's a bummer. And then there's this big danglies that I don't see any matches for. A couple other danglies. This one was really cute. Little turtle. No match. So yeah, like I said, the no matches, I'll either put them in a craft lot or I might save them to do crafting myself someday. Um, it almost looks like it could be real. I don't see any markings on it, but I might check that with my diamond tester later. It's a heart with like little rubies and diamonds around it. If it's focusing. Yeah, pretty too. It's like a diamond look around the edges and a dark red stone like a garnet stone I don't think it's real but it's really pretty and then there's a lot of single little diamonds um, or fake diamonds those I think I'll probably lot up a bunch of them eventually because people will buy those and wear them for their second hole or like men maybe that have just one earring you know so yeah that one's kind of cute too but no match it's diamond with a little chain diamond and then there's a couple single single pearls same with those maybe i'll lock those up like a whole bunch of them in a set and then there's a little single elephant that's one that might sell as like a second hole earring, maybe. But yeah, that's pretty much it. That is my box.
So that was my Goodwill Blue Box jewelry box unboxing. I feel like this whole time, I've probably done it this whole video. I keep looking over here because I had my camera set up to where the camera was over there earlier and I just realized it's over here now. So if I've had crazy eyes this whole video and I haven't been looking anywhere near the camera, I'm sorry. A learning experience y'all but anyways i'm going to get all this jewelry put back and thank you for watching my shop goodwill unboxing i don't know if i'm gonna put i think i'll probably do the separate plush and jewelry because the jewelry took quite a lot longer so yeah um might get two videos today but thank you for watching don't forget to like and comment and subscribe and come back next week to see what I post. I think I'm going to do like either a thrift with me or a what sold type video next week. But not really 100% sure yet. Um, I have been trying to focus more on listing to get my sales up a bit. And yeah, that's about it. I'm hot. I'm going to go inside and cool off. Maybe I can talk my husband into opening the pool up. We do have a pool show you guys because I'm super excited to get the pool open like it looks like a mess but there's the pool oh I can't wait to get it open it's gonna be so nice so thank you for watching please remember to like and subscribe and comment and do all the things um you can check me out on instagram thrifty nurse xo on Mercari under Thrifty Nurse, on eBay under Thrifty Nurse XO, and of course here on YouTube. Um, good luck with your sales. I hope everybody's had a great weekend, and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Go.